class, I want to talk to you about outdoor grill fire safety. As you can tell, the months are heating up. May is just around the corner. Between May and August is the prime time for outdoor grilling. According to U.S. Fire Administration, 79% of all outdoor grill fires are related to gas fires. Uh, they result from mechanical failure to other misuse and operational deficiencies. 10% of those fires are contained just to the grill. That means the other 90% are going to residential and outdoor, you know, creating mass fire spread. Here's a grill right here. Let's check it out. What we first want to do with this gas grill here is check the propane tank. What you're looking for is a good amount of distance away from the actual grill and the propane tank. If you get too close, sorry, you don't want a kinked line here. That could cause abrasions or any kind of leakage uh, that could leak out propane and cause an additional fire. Another thing you want to check for this propane tank, make sure it's closed. You want to check the o-ring in here if the o-ring's broken that could cause propane to leak and of course cause fire or if the o-ring is on there or if there's an o-ring at all sometimes people get complacent and don't put these things on here it's just another additional safety measure to protect yourselves your family and your neighbors when you're not using the propane tank Make sure it's closed, you don't use fuel, and it doesn't lead to an extra fire hazard when you're away from the house. So now that you have your propane tank inspected, you want to check the lines. What we did in the Navy, we used the soapy water test, where you take soapy water and a sponge, and you pat down the entire line. And once you uh, have that done, you open up your propane tank, and bubbles will come and start uh, forming if there's a gas leak. Another way to tell is also the smell of propane. Once you've done your line check, your propane check, another thing you want to do is check out the grill itself. Behind it right here is a grease drip tray. If that is filled with grease, that can be an extra hazard for fire. Another thing you want to check is the inside of the grill itself. Looks like my neighbor here uh, keeps his grills moderately clean. Um, you want to make sure your grill's always cleaned up on the top before you start cooking. Uh, down here, it's got a lot of uh, charred food buildup. Down here is, it's not, it's not bad or anything, but you want to make sure you stay on top of it. The burners right here, you want to make sure the, the holes right here are clog free because having those clogged will just make propane build up and once the propane actually builds up there, it could just cause it to like push out the clog and it'll just like be a rush of propane which could make an explosion or a small explosion. Um, after you do all your initial checks, make sure you have propane and some good food. Let's get grilling.